Hi, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So after the last atrocious set of lipid scores for my blood test, um, I took a blood test six days later. I've just received the results from those. I've entered them into the database. So enough waffling from me. Let's jump into the database and look at the results of my blood test, which I took six days after the very poor lipid score test. So let's get straight into the retest. Uh, you can see there I've added another column that says 26 of Feb because I took it six days after uh, the initial one. You can see my total cholesterol is still high. Um, but I think that's because the LDL has pushed that number up. That said, it's gone from 263 down to 27, uh, down to 237, which is, although it's high, it, it's gone down, which is good. HDL was 50, now 49.8, so still well within range. LDL, which we know is going to be high, is still high at 162, uh, but it's down from 169. So um, that's good. Triglycerides, which is the one I was worried about, is now normal, um, 127. Now it's still up from three months ago where it was 119. Um, the 127, I'm not sure if that's going to continue to fall, but I'm thinking normally when I've done these tests, um, I've not drunk alcohol um, or eaten um, processed food for a good 48 hours because remember Thursday night is um, pizza night. Uh, so I have a couple of slices of pizza. I don't know if that would affect tri triglyceride numbers. But the good thing is that number has come down. So that was extremely worrying when that jumped from 119 to 421. That's now down to 127, which is normal. It's anything less than 150. So I'd still like to get it down because the lower the number, the better. Um, the place I took the test didn't give me these um, scores. So it would be nice to see what my VLDL cholesterol is. Um, because that is one that I would like to get low. I'll see what that says in three months. My uh, TCHDL cholesterol ratio, I'm guessing would still be high, although slightly lower um, because of the um, triglyceride number um, is still kind of high. Uh, and the LDL-HDL ratio was normal last time, so I'm not too worried. Uh, and if anything, that's probably come down because my HDL has come down um, as has my LDL. So that's it for um, the retest results. Good news, especially for the triglycerides. Uh, note to self, don't drink alcohol. Um, and note to friends, if you've been in the Middle East um, doing a job and you're transiting through, um, don't come and see me on a Thursday night before my blood test, because if you do, it'll be a teetotal night. <laughs> so that's it for the retest results. So that's it for the blood test scores. I think all in all could be better, but are much better than the scores I got uh, six days before this test, uh, especially my triglycerides that went from four to one down to one to seven. And that was just uh, within the six days. So I think it may well have been the the alcohol, the beer that I drunk, and specifically beer for some reason, it's noted on a couple of the, the sites I checked when I got this um, quite worrying score um, within a 48 hour period. So I'll make sure that um, uh, I don't, as I normally do, drink any alcohol at least 48 to 72 hours before I take the next blood test, which is in just under three months time. Um, <clears throat> I'd first of all as well, before I start with my next comment, like to say, Thank you very much indeed to everyone who commented. This video in particular, the previous video about my blood scores, attracted an awful lot of comments with quite a few people showing some, what I believe is genuine concern, offering me alternatives, offering me um, courses of action to take, sending me links to studies or links to videos where people have done things to reduce their triglyceride numbers because it is a number that can cause serious problems. So. Uh, genuinely, thank you very much indeed for all your comments and your support with reference to the last video. It's very much appreciated and uh, it, I was humbled by it as well. Um, one of the comments I did get off someone who comments quite frequently, which is Holly from the Life and DIY channel. And if you haven't checked it out, I urge you to do so. She does some NAD boosting videos um, and also other interesting Life and DIY supplement type videos. 
she mentioned that uh, either a friend of hers or a doctor had said taking supplements before a blood test can also affect some of the scores. So she said it may be an idea to stop taking all of my supplements three or four days before I take the next blood test and that will give me a better score, which, which I guess is good. Uh, and then when I discussed this with a friend of mine in the office, um, he said, but if you're taking supplements 27 days out of the month, that is a, that is, uh, and you take a blood test during that period of time, that's a true reflection of what your blood is like. If you stop taking the supplements for three days and then you take the test, you may have stellar scores, but for um, 27 plus days, um, it's not going to be that. So he said, what do you want to do? Do you want to get a test that reflects exactly uh, what your blood is like for the majority of the month? Or do you just want to take a snapshot? And uh, a blood test is a snapshot anyway, but a snapshot of when you're eating healthily and you're not taking any other supplements. Um, so it was a, a, a point that Holly had made and a question that he posed to me that, um, that did make me think. Um, I'd be interested to see what you think um, about stopping my normal regime prior to my next blood test to see if I get even better scores. Um, I'm not sure if that's really the, the aim of this, um, but it's an interesting point and one I think I'd like to hear your comments on. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you found this uh, video interesting. I hope you're as glad as I am that my triglyceride numbers has come down. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, as always, please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.